News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink explains. In this Tucson home, there's a memorial set up for baby Anaya above the fireplace. Candles, her handprints and footprints, the blankets she was wrapped in at the hospital. Like that's her little area right there, especially when you light that fireplace on fire. It's like everything just glows around it. And it's just, I don't know, it's just calm and soothing. And you know, it's her. It was last Thanksgiving night. Tiffany Lynn and Jordan Haynes' daughter was stillborn at 33 weeks. It's something I'll never get over, but I have learned how to manage it. It's, it's, it's a loss I will never get over. Time won't heal it. A few decades ago, President Ronald Reagan proclaimed October Infant Loss Awareness Month. According to National Share, an organization that serves those who have lost a child early on, one in four pregnancies ends in loss. In the months following this indescribable pain, Tiffany says she hit rock bottom. I didn't know what to think. It was a dark road for me. I was alone. Uh, never thought it would happen to me. So, um, you can just, you blame yourself, but you I had no control over it. She's now in grief counseling and trying her best to get through each day. Speak your child's name every day, like they're, they're never forgotten. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.